Welcome to Go and See TV. We hope you've been enjoying our videos about New York City. Today we're going to take you to go and see the Brooklyn Bridge, next to the Empire State Building and Statue of Liberty. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of New York City's most recognizable landmarks. Completed in 1883, it connects Manhattan with the borough of Brooklyn, and it's a must-see when you visit New York City. There are a number of places where you can get a great view of the city and the bridge, which we'll show you in our video today. Click on the link in the description box below for our blog post with the details on how to get to the places we'll show you today. So put on your walking shoes and come join us as we go and see the Brooklyn Bridge. The Manhattan side of the Brooklyn Bridge is located here in downtown New York by the City Hall subway station on the 4, 5, and 6 subway lines. If you have the time, you can start your walk here, cross the Brooklyn Bridge into Brooklyn, explore the Brooklyn side, then walk back across the bridge into Manhattan. But if you only have limited time or want to walk across the bridge once, we'd recommend that you start your visit on the Brooklyn side at the York Street subway stop on the F subway line, which is the route we're going to show you here today. Get off the F train at York Street and walk up to street level, where you'll find yourself at the corner of York Street and J Street in the neighborhood known as Dumbo, spelled D-U-M-B-O, an abbreviation for Down Under the Manhattan Bridge Overpass. As we've seen in our other New York City videos, New York's neighborhoods often undergo change, and Dumbo is definitely one such area. It was formerly a light industrial and commercial area that attracted many artists. With recent real estate development and change in the commercial mix, it's becoming a more developed area with industrial lofts, cool stores and restaurants, and new residential developments and high-tech startups that are changing the whole feel of the neighborhood. As you explore the cobblestone streets of Dumbo, you'll get amazing photo ops of the Manhattan Bridge and Brooklyn Bridge that are framed by the buildings in Dumbo, so keep your eyes open and have your camera ready. As you walk west through Dumbo, our first stop will be Main Street Park, where you'll find a great place by the water to sit and take in the view of both the Manhattan Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a great place to eat your lunch or just relax and take in the great view. And since this is New York City, one of the world's fashion capitals, you may also find an impromptu fashion shoot going on that's taking advantage of the great view of the Brooklyn Bridge of Manhattan from Main Street Park. It's just another day in New York City. As you'll see, Main Street Park is just one of the places we'll visit today where you'll get fantastic views of the Brooklyn Bridge and New York City skyline, so be sure to have your camera ready. Main Street Park would also be a great place to eat your lunch outside. If you'd like to do that, just pick up something to go at the various restaurants and delis in Dumbo before you walk to the park. Our next stop is the Empire Fulton Ferry State Park, which is adjacent to and a short walk along the water from Main Street Park. Just head for the large glass structure, which you can see here on the left side of your screen. As you walk towards the Empire Fulton Ferry area, you'll see Jane's Carousel, which is housed inside the large glass structure. Jane's Carousel was built in 1922 by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company and originally operated in Ohio. It was restored by hand to its original condition in Dumbo and installed in the park in 2011. If you're traveling with children or you're a child at heart, this is a great place to ride a classic merry-go-round while enjoying the cool summer breeze and wonderful view of the Brooklyn Bridge and East River. After enjoying Jane's Carousel, there are more photo ops to be had along the boardwalk in the Empire Fulton Ferry State Park, which offer a close-up vantage point of the Brooklyn Bridge. Next up, we'll take a short walk under the Brooklyn Bridge over to the Brooklyn Bridge Park, just southwest of the bridge. As you've seen, we've covered a lot of ground already, so if you need to take a break and have a cool, refreshing treat, here you'll find the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory, and if it's a hot day and a weekend, you'll often find a long line. The landing here provides you with another great close-up vantage point of the Brooklyn Bridge. But if you continue walking just a short way along the water, away from the Brooklyn Bridge, you'll be rewarded with this majestic view of the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan skyline, and Lady Liberty in the distance. 
you really could not ask for more. If you're looking for lunch along our route, you're in luck. The Brooklyn Bridge area is home to one of New York's most well-known pizzerias, Grimaldi's. Grimaldi's is a great place for lunch, as it's only about one block away from Brooklyn Bridge Park and the Brooklyn Ice Cream Factory. But be ready to wait for a bit. As it's so popular, you'll usually have to line up outside. Be aware that they don't serve slices. You won't regret stopping by Grimaldi's for lunch. Okay, next we're going to do what you've all been waiting for. Cross the Brooklyn Bridge. After leaving Grimaldi's, just walk to Cabin Plaza East and Prospect Street, which will bring you here, just under the walkway to the Brooklyn Bridge. Just walk up the stairs to the elevated pathway, and you are now on your way to crossing the Brooklyn Bridge. While crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, please keep your eye out for what's going on around you. The bridge allows pedestrians and cyclists, and each have their own lane. If you're not careful, you may be startled if you stray into the cyclist lane and a bike comes along. As you make your way across the Brooklyn Bridge, make sure to look up, down, and all around you for beautiful views and patterns that make great photos. You'll definitely find some interesting angles. If you're into selfies, and let's face it, who isn't? You'll be happy to know that you can take a great selfie every step across the bridge if you wanted to. For the more adventurous of you, look down as you get over the water and you will see the East River below through the wooden planks of the Brooklyn Bridge. The views from the Brooklyn Bridge speak for themselves, so take your time to enjoy them as you cross the bridge. Don't forget to look back towards Brooklyn as you cross, as there are some great views that way too. As you walk your way over the Brooklyn Bridge into Manhattan, you'll find yourself here at Park Row in Lower Manhattan, just across from City Hall, where you'll also find the City Hall subway stop on the 4, 5, and 6 subway lines. This also brings us to the end of our Brooklyn Bridge walk. We hope you found it helpful in planning your visit to the Brooklyn Bridge. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe and visit us at www.goandseetv.com for more videos and information about visiting New York. Be sure to go and see the Brooklyn Bridge for yourself and join us for our next video about New York City.